In this video, I'll show you how to install and use the Roblox FPS Unlocker. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this. So one of the main advantages of using an FPS Unlocker is that we can actually go and get more FPS than 60. Because if you didn't know, Roblox, the Roblox player goes and caps your FPS at 60. And you can check this by going onto your keyboard and pressing on the left shift button and F5 at the same time like this and then in the top left as you can see when I move around my FPS isn't going above 60 so I'm going to show you how you can do this so what you first need to do is go and close off Roblox and then what you'll need to do is go and open up a new tab so I'm just using Google Chrome but you can use any browser you would like and then what we need to do is go and search for Roblox FPS Unlocker so we type it in like this and go and search for it and now I want to make sure you go to the official website the official website is this one here it's a github website and it's by a person called Austin uh, where the U is an X and github is a place where you can go and share your programs and things like that so it's likely that there's going to be a newer version of the FPS Unlocker, but the newest version is going to be right at the top. So then all you need to do is go and scroll down a bit. But it is important to note that this software here is often flagged by antivirus tools just due to the nature of it and how it's going to work with Roblox. So yeah, don't worry because I'm using it on my own computer um, and I'll show you how to do that. But what you need to do is scroll down to assets like this. And then this option at the top is the one we want. It's a zip file. So go and click on it and it's then going to go and download. And once it's gone and downloaded, what you then need to do is open up your downloads folder. Now here we are in my downloads folder and here is the file I just downloaded. So what you need to do is go and double click on it like this. And then we've got the RBX FPS Unlocker application here. So what I like to do is just go and drag it out onto my desktop like this. And there it is. Now you can go and close your file explorer. And what you now need to do is go and run the application here. Just go and double click on it like this. And you then go and get this console up here. And that's it running. It's not that obvious that it's running, but it now is. And so just before I go and show you it inside of Roblox, there are some settings you can go and have a look at. So all you need to do is go to the bottom right of your computer and go and click on the show hidden icons button here. And then as you can see, you've then gone and got the FPS unlocker. So you can go and right click on it uh, just like this. And then you've got a few different options. The first thing you really want to look at is make sure unlock Roblox player is selected and then go down to FPS cap. So you can choose what the FPS caps at. Uh, personally, I like to vote none uh, just so I can go and see how high I can achieve. So you can go and choose that there. And honestly, that's the main settings you need to go and change. Now what we can do is go back to Roblox and I'll show you the change. And so now here we are in Roblox and it already feels much smoother. So now if I go and press shift and F5 in the top left, you can now go and see I'm achieving pretty much over 200 frames per second. So I've almost sort of three, well, I've over three times my FPS, which is absolutely awesome. So that's it, guys. If you found this guide useful, please consider leaving a like. Check out the channel for more useful Roblox guides. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.